guys, welcome back to another HeartMate Controls Protector.net tutorial. Today we'll be demonstrating another way of adding card holders to the system. Protector.net allows the ability to bulk import a large quantity of users and credentials via a CSV file. This is a good alternative to adding users and cards manually and can save lots of time getting the system up and running quickly. This is especially useful when doing takeovers of existing systems where the client may want to keep the current cards. First, we must prepare a CSV file. You can create this file using Notepad or Microsoft Excel or a similar spreadsheet program. Make sure when we save the file that we save it as a CSV, comma separated file. The structure of the file looks like this. First name, comma, last name, comma, site code, comma, card number. Nice and simple. Please be aware that special characters and first name and last names are not permitted. Let's go ahead and save this file. In Notepad, just change the drop down menu here to All Files. And we'll put it on our desktop, import.csv. And if you're looking at Excel, um, they'll leave the commas out, and you just need to spread it by, uh... and in Excel, you'll separate the fields by column, and each card holder by row. Once you save the file, we can import it. On the home page, select Import Cards from the top of the page. Click the Browse button and select your input file. Click the Parse button and you'll see the records in the file appear on the screen. If there are thousands of records in the file, this may take a few moments. Select an access group that these users will be placed in when imported. If you desire to place the users into different access groups, we suggest splitting your CSV file into several smaller input files. Select a crisis level to be applied to these users. And above each column, you can select what type of data uh, that column represents. In this case, this is the first name, last name, site code, and card number. Once you're satisfied with how this import looks, just click Import File on the bottom here. Alright, and just like that, they're already imported. Any users with duplicate credentials or invalid characters will be highlighted in red and not imported. Always make sure you do an update in the controllers or wait for the auto-update procedure to kick in. Perfect. That concludes this video. For more information about adding card holders and credentials, see the applicable chapter in the software guide.